ASP is back again. We're continuing off on United States Marine Corps uniforms. This is Tarawa. Take it away. All right, Chris. This is also a, one of the better pieces of my collection. I was fortunate to get this uniform many years ago. It's known as the P-42 Camouflage Utilities. Um, I'm, we're displaying it on the, the tan side out today because on November 21st, 43, when the 2nd Division landed at Tarawa, mm -hmm. the, um, the entire atoll is basically just a sand spit, no yeah. jungle. So they felt the majority of guys you see photographed from the island have the brown side camouflage out. And the majority of the entire division were issued a set of these. You see lots of photographs of guys wearing their camouflage you know, on the island. Yeah. And uh, here's the main problem with the, with the pockets. We have a little pocket here and a pocket here with, the button. with a silly little plastic button holding on. So most guys, once they had to jump out from the reef and wade their way into shore, yeah. whatever K ration or C ration they had in their pockets, it fell out. Didn't make it. Oh, wow. So that was a big problem with these uniforms. Um, they're also, also same herringbone twill material. Still considered frog skin camel pattern. Mm -hmm. As usual, they're EGA on. You know, a little faded over 70 years, but it's still there. Um, and you say November 21st was the landing of Terra. Yeah, 20, 21st, don't hold me to it. Either November 20th or 21st, it was a three day operation. Again, fully reversible. There were some Raider units who also issued these, and you'll see them photographed in the Solomon Islands as well. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they were on the green side out. Yeah. But a major problem with the camouflage was over time, it, the color faded and made it too bright, which is definitely what you don't want in the jungle. Oh, yeah, of course. You'd be a bright white target. Yeah. You know, thank you very much. Uh, so so that, was a, that was a problem. I remember, today we can go to Walmart, buy a camouflage t-shirt, and not think anything of it. Yeah. The technology of the time in the textiles industry, camouflage was a big thing. You know, very, very, uh, you, you didn't, civilians didn't know camouflage at, at all. Yeah. It was strictly at the time, still just a military thing. Um, the start of it all, the push of it, was all by General MacArthur. Okay. He had seen how well the Japanese had dealt with camouflage, and he's the one who pushed it, getting uniforms and equipment out there for troops to wear in the jungle. To hide really, themselves better. Yeah, that was, really where, them, that was yeah. really where it started. The Marines really did run, you know, run off with it with their uniforms and gear. And um, as usual, matching pants. Again, we're going to show them round side out, because that's how they wore them on Tarawa. Um, again, just black domed metal snaps. No, EG, no uh, eagle and anchor buttons again. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the, the green side has the same thing. One pocket on that side and one pocket on this side. So when you flip it, you get the yeah, You can see the stitching first. Yeah. So the pockets were a disaster. That had to be remedied after the Battle of Tarba. They, they actually dealt with that almost immediately. Okay. You know? You'll get close-ups of uh, with the uniform. Mm -hmm. Okay. Again, this is the P-42 Camouflage Utilities. One primarily a Tarba, one of the most famous battles, you know? Oh, yeah. And right, here's a close-up of the uniform. USMC. You don't want the pants, right? Oh uh, yeah, throw the yeah. pants over here. Yeah. Throw the button pattern, I guess, in the pockets. Yeah. Stitching here for the pocket. Actual pocket right here. One for the pocket. So, on the reverse side, USMC. Same thing here. Here's the pants. 